hello friends myself amar now in this video i will discuss one more and notation which is called as a request param okay let's see how this request param works okay now as usual i have created a project that is a spring html form 6 and i have uh, deleted the required files as i did in my earlier videos also okay now as usual in the web.xml file for any request this dispatcher will be called this means it will call dispatcher servlet class provided by the spring framework now what it will do it will read the dispatcher servlet.xml file this means it will call my controller which i have created here by using annotation okay and for any url pattern which matches comment form and the method type means whenever the client sends a request to the browser then the request can go by get method post method put method delete method okay if the method is get method this means whenever the client sends a request to the browser when a client types something in the browser and hit enter then the by default the request method is always get so what this request mapping attribute is doing here it is checking if the url pattern matches this comment form and the method type is get then what will happen the display form method will be called what it will do it will call a view with the name comment form okay now where this comment form view will be searched as i discussed earlier also it will be searched inside web inf jsp folder okay in the jsp folder if you can see the comment form dot jsp i have created okay this means this form will be called here what i have done here i have created a simple form there i have written action equals to spring html form 6 this is nothing my project name slash i have written comment submission okay and the method is post here i have created two fields that is name and comment and i have created two text boxes having the name as txt name and txt comment and here i have created a button having the caption as submit this means whenever this form will be executed what will happen a uh, html form you will be able to see containing two fields let me show you up to this run and here i will pass comment form see two fields has been created right now whenever i will provide some values here whenever i will provide some values here and i will click on this submit button what will happen this action will be called okay comment submission now in the my controller if the url pattern matches comment submission and if the type is post as i told you that whenever the user will click on the submit button then the method type will be always post this means this submitted form method will be called now here i have used two annotation at the rate request param txt name at the rate request param txt comment this txt name and txt comment is a nothing but the name of the input fields which i have specified here okay what this request param will do this request param will retrieve the values specified in the txt name and txt comment form fields and the values will be stored in the variable name and comment okay and after that this values i am passing in the view comment submission form <coughs> sorry and here i have used uh, add object method i am passing a key and i am passing here comment form submitted by name this means the value associated with this variable and the comment is comment this means the value associated with this variable okay where it will go it will go to the comment submission form where it will be searched it will be searched in the way by an of jsp and this is the form here what i have done here i have associate i have printed the value associated with the msg key this means the value associated with the msg key is comment form submitted by the name and the comment is the comment okay 
let me show you here i am passing the name as suppose i am giving my name amar and i am giving the comment is suppose it's very good okay now click on submit see comment form submitted by amar and the comment is very good okay and this is the message which i passed here comment form submitted by the name that is amar which i have uh, provided in that text field and the comment is very good okay this is how we can use the request param annotation in spring framework okay if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you so much